Hey everybody and welcome back to FTG Killer Bees! Another special set today! Modern Horizons is out and we finally got our boxes and we're gonna open one up here. Of course, good old Sarah the Benevolent on there. We're gonna see what we can get. Hopefully we can get some Urzas and some Yogmoths. Your first sliver that you want so much. Ooh, the first sliver will be off. I'll be happy if I get a Yogmoth and a first sliver. Those are the two I want the most. Even though everybody's clamoring over Urza. Ooh, it's one of these. Okay. Uh, yep. Get that. Ooh. Very, very nice. Special displays. It splits in the middle. Oh, man. It's like that unstable set we bought one time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They do the stupid box format for all the special sets. Covered lands are back, I see. Yep. This is actually an odd set. There's Sarah. There's Urza. Oh, it's an expensive set, but there's 36 packs in the box. Unlike the old master sets, which were 24. Didn't Battle Ball have 36 too? No, I think that was also 24. Huh. I'm more than that. And there's an art card. Oh. Yep, each pack has an art card. Not quite sure how that's supposed to go. Snow covered island. Brand new artwork. I like that they're full art. Those are nice. Archmage's Charm. Alright. Are we looking for any uncommons or commons? I not that I know of. I think all the value is in the mythics and the land cycle. Mm. Oh, okay. So the Horizon Lands obviously are the big, big draw in this. If you didn't know, Horizon Canopy was an old land that was a one-off. It tapped for green or white, I believe. And it lets you sack it to draw a card. Hmm? Now there's one of those for each of the enemy so colors. Forest. And Fallen Shinobi. And ninjas are back. We got a barren moor cycling land. Yeah, we want the rare land cycle. Oh, I don't think the cycling lands are anything special. Yeah. And of course, the other weird thing about this set is that it's modern legal, but not standard legal. Elemental and elephant, Jesus. Oh, that's interesting. It's one of the ninjas. They're also doing uh, covered swamp. foil tokens and in some of these packs. Deep Forest Hermit. Wait, they're doing foil tokens? Mm-hmm. Squirrels are back. Oh, good. <laughs> Who remembers Deranged Hermit? I do. Urza's Legacy for the win. I do not. Or was that Urza's Saga? I don't remember. It was an Urza set, though. Mm. Mm -hmm. Snow covered island. And we have a foil grape shifter. Okay. One nice thing about these packs yeah. is if you get a foil, you also get. If you get a foil rare, you get a regular rare behind it. Giver of Ruins. I like okay. it. Okay. Yeah, the Giver of Ruins is. I don't think it's worth a lot, but it's one of the better cards in the set. Obviously, Mother of Ruins, it's kind of copying. The advantage is it can give... that card. <laughs> it can give something protection from colorless, but it can't oh. give itself protection. Hey! There we go. That's the first slivers chosen. Nice. Flames. Hey, our first mythic unbound flourishing. Okay. That's not bad. I, when I first yeah. read this one, I was like, what are they thinking? It's an enchantment for a green and two. Whenever you cast a permanent spell that has X in the mana cost, double the value of X. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell or activate an ability, if that spell's mana cost or that ability's activation contains X, copy that spell or ability. You may choose new targets for the copy. And speaking of foil tokens, Ooh. an angel. 
basically a Sarah Angel. Wow. Yeah. Planes. Is that the Ranger Captain of Eos, I think? Hey, another mythic. Sword of Sinew and Steel. Ooh, nice. The swords are doing pretty good. Of course, this, I believe this is a new set of swords. There were swords in the old ones. I think one of them is a Sword of Truth and Justice. Mm -hmm. Quick creature is plus two, plus two, and has protection from black and red. Whenever it deals damage to a player, destroy up to one target Planeswalker and up to one target Artifact. Nice. And a Foil Spider. Ooh. I noticed the Foil tokens. The art isn't foil. It's just the border, like the old, the very first when they started doing foils. Hmm. Just the border of the card was foil. They didn't do the art. That's a... Ooh, that's weird. Yeah. It's like a lion that's phased out of reality or something. Bizarre trade mage. Wait, is phasing back? Mm, that's the one I don't think they brought back. Okay. This is, uh... These remind me of, like, Magus of the Bazaar, but it's not horrible. <laughs> like, obviously, Bazaar Baghdad, they can't reprint. Yeah, yeah. But the Bazaar trade mage is <laughs> okay. Is that a zebra unicorn? <laughs> I think so. Snow-covered mountain. And no terrain peatland. Hey, there's one of them. Yep. The green black. We usually do pretty good on land pulls. Now, oh, come on, foil Urza. <laughs> you had a foil card and a regular card on the last box. I don't think you're going to get that lucky again. Now with that attitude. <laughs> Hey, a foil elephant. Hmm. Okay. Oh. You're horrifying. Ooh, look at that guy. Mountain. He looks like happy he just found some prey in the jungle. Spiteful sliver. Okay. So, someone is going to be starting a new sliver deck. <laughs> if we get the first sliver out of here, I have most of it put together already. <laughs> yep, he's already had the curve. I would love actually the first sliver and Morophon for the sliver deck to round it out. Ooh. Morophon's just a good overall tribal commander. Hmm, Genesis. Hmm. Beginning your upkeep of Genesis in your graveyard, you may pay green and two if you do return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. That's weird. An incarnation. Oh, that's a... Are these, are these art cards selling for anything, I wonder? I, is anybody I, even I, buy, I, Is anybody buying them? I didn't even know about it. Um, Endling is the rare. Ooh, the Endling's pretty good. I believe this finishes the cycle that had Morphling in it. That's the only other one I remember mm. off the top of my head. But they were all creatures that were shapeshifters that ended in Ling. And they each had uh, abilities that activated for one of whatever their colors were. Foiled Bear, again. Yay! This set also has a really good Bear Tribal Commander. The first ever. <laughs> okay. Go watch the uh, latest episode of Game Nights, and there's a guy who plays his deck called Bear Force One. Hilarious. <laughs> Venomous Changeling. Okay, we got a foil. Ooh, look at the foiling on the, like, claws that are, like, goop. That's weird. And we got another mythic. Ooh! Cast a Dissident Mage. Ah, uh, man. During your turns, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. If it would be cast the swags out instead. She's alright, I guess. <laughs> so we're doing pretty decent on Mythics, but we're not getting any of the ones I wanted. No, we, we did get a land, so. And you got a sliver. That's Captain Sisse. Hey, speaking of slivers, Cloud Shredder Sliver. Okay. Nice, I didn't have that one yet. 
Silver creatures you control have flying and haste, and it only costs two. That's awesome. Oh, in fantasy news, uh, supposedly they have cast Moraine in real time and adaptation for Amazon. <laughs> He's currently listening to the audiobooks on it. I am. So I've heard from everybody that the uh, regular books are a slog to get through. No, oh, they are. Which is unfortunate because. So I have some guy read it to me. Fascinating, but. What's that? Mm, Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Ooh, that's not bad. Pay white and one and tap it. Put target enchantment card from your graveyard on top of your library. I feel like that would be really easy to take advantage of. One thing with this set that I'm not sure about is how good is any of this really going to be in modern? Delta? Like... As a commander player, obviously, I immediately start thinking about everything I could do with all this in commander, but... Eula! <laughs> hey! Queen among bears! I'm going to have to make a bear tribal deck now. <laughs> and first slivers chosen, since we were talking about them earlier. Nice. This one is actually... I really... I guess the mana cost is what makes this an uncommon. But sliver creatures you control have exalted... Oh. That's nuts. Shapeshifter. Because yeah. in theory, you should have a lot of slivers out if you're playing a sliver deck. Ooh, we have foil rare. Ooh. Astral drift. Uh, uh, okay, what is that? Whenever you cycle astral drift or cycle another card while well, astral drift is on the battlefield, you may exalt target creature. If you do return that card at the beginning of the next end step. Weird. Okay. And our rare is tectonic reformation. Hmm. Cycling. Ooh, each land in so your hand has cycling. That's, that's not bad. Yeah. That actually could be really useful in a red deck. I could rebuild my Possibility Storm deck. Put that in there. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the Mox Tantalite art. There's a Mox in this set. Really? Are yeah, it's one? not a great one. Okay. Reap the Past. X cards at random from your graveyard to your hand. That's weird. The first card I've seen to be used with any snow permit. <laughs> yeah, they brought back snow mana. So any, any land that's a snow land or anything that is a snow permanent that taps for mana counts as snow mana. I like that one. Oh man, it reminds me of Wall of Swords, but I know that's not what it is. It no, it actually reminds me of that stupid thousand needles from Final Fantasy with that <laughs> cactus that always killed you. Crashing footfalls. Okay, that's what's with this really long suspense. That's that seems like too long to wait in modern for two four fours. The design of this set is really weird. Rhino. Foil. Oh, there's one of the tokens you can create. Oh, there's a... Ooh, that's the uh, Prismatic Vista art. That's the new uh, fetch land that's in this set. Foil Wart Eye Witch. <laughs> Ooh. And we have a Marie Lagia Slumber. Ah, nice. This is the second thing... That will bring Merit Lodge into play. Um, Dark Depths was the first. So with that, if you have 10 snow permanents, oh, you can get a 2020. This is the art. I don't know if this is upside down. or No, it should be this way. This card is nuts. You have another giver. Boo, we're repeating already. Yeah, that's early. Anyway, this card they basically reprinted um, one of the Power Nine. That's a nice one. That's Yogmoth. There he is. Now, if we can only get the actual card. Uh, Plague Engineer. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty one. 
There was a whole cycle of those plague creatures in Urza Saga. I believe they all sacked for... Like the common, you could sacrifice and creatures that chose the type get minus one, minus one, and then... Ooh. <laughs> Look at that lady. Yeah, I figured you'd like that. And, hey, waterlogged grove. Hmm, nice. Another one of the lands. And it's, it looks like Daredevil. Hmm. With the blindfold on. Eh. Daredevil in the Netflix series before he gets his suit. <laughs> did you ever finish watching that? I did not. And now it's been canceled, so yeah. who cares. Good news! Good news, everyone! This Friday, uh, what is, what is today? 18th? Yes. So that's 21st? Yes. This Friday, on the 21st of June, 2019, Neon Genesis Evangelion is coming to Netflix. Yeah! Oh, cat just bumped the camera. Sorry. Hey! Nice! There's our... They basically... It's almost Force of Will, but it's modern legal, which makes it really good. So, in other words, what he was trying to say is we're going to be watching all of Evangelion next week. Yes! Because it's good. And weird. It is fucking weird. It is not as weird as Fooly Coley. Holy crap, is that odd. Well, stream disappearances. Hey. You've, you've never seen the end of the actual show. We've just been watching the movies. Yeah, and they're fucking weird anyway. Hey, nice fiery so, eyelid. Hey, we got another uh, first show then. <laughs> Bad side. How many we got left? Uh, quite a few. Cause this. How many was it? Thirty-six. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got another foil goblin. Nah, who cares? Ew. As far as Where's I know, the uh, witch that I pulled earlier, <laughs> the word I. As far as I know, none of those foil tokens are worth anything. I looked up the Merit really? Lodge token; and it was like twenty-five cents. Oh. This thing's weird. Space, kind of like an Oblivion Ring, but it only costs one. But the downside is you have to enchant a Snowland you control. Which, if you're going to play that, shouldn't be a problem. You should be playing all Snowlands. Hmm? Oh, that's crazy looking. Mm. Nice. I like that one. Kaya's Guile. This is actually hey. pretty good. I got a foil one of these in the draft for pre-release. I like that card a lot. I also like the, that it gives you the option to... <laughs> I also like that they went back to the old design of slivers, not the slivers that look like the Predator, but the ones that actually look weird like a fantasy creature. Goblin Engineer. Okay. And it's not common, but I just want to point out the Frostwalk Bastion. Hmm? Oh, snow mana. I want to open one. All right, go ahead. There's plenty. I can't let her have all the fun. <laughs> First, I did open ten packs while she was away. Yeah. I was dog sitting for a friend, so he had all the fun. Here's that. No, that's not what I thought it is. What is that? I don't know what that is. Leave a comment if you know what that is. <laughs> Lightning Skelemental. Hey! That's clever. The Skelemental. I could actually see that being played in modern in certain decks. So, pack I open. We got whatever card that is. And the Snow Covered Swamp. And then we got Force of Vigor. Eh, which is okay. Not great. A foil soldier. In other news, for a long time they said they were never going to reprint Disenchant because it was too good. Guess what's coming in 
Corset 20. They're reprinting Disenchant? Yep, Disenchant is back. Okay. <laughs> Force of Despair. Probably. Okay, so we've got three of the forces. I. This one could be situationally good. It's a little weird, but you could find a use for it. Um, but anyway, anyway, yeah, in this set there is a card that's just straight better than Disenchant. It does exactly the same thing, destroy target artifact or enchantment, and it costs two mana, but you can pay green or white for it. So it's a green or a white and one. So you got the choice. It's just straight better than Disenchant. Mm -hmm. Ice Fang. Quotal? Quotal? Yeah, I don't know. Um, snow Creature. Hmm. As long as you control at least three other snow permanents. Come on, Urza. Let's see you show up. We've been waiting for you for so long. I want to see you show up. Ooh, that's creepy. Is that guy's like skeleton and muscles being knocked out of him? That's weird. Unsettled Mariner. Hmm. That's not bad, actually. I can see that having a place in uh, the Azorius control decks in modern. Hmm. Alright. Ooh, look at that guy. I think he's got three nostrils. That's weird. What? Cordial vampire. Oh. Uh -huh. Look at the look at his face. He's so happy to invite you in. And dinner is on the table. <laughs> hey, come on in. I just bit this guy. But you can have some. By the way, if anybody has not yet watched What We Do in the Shadows, the TV show, go watch it. It's amazing. And if you haven't seen What We Do in the Shadows, the movie, see that uh, first. Watch that first, yeah. And then watch the show. <laughs> Foil Squirrel. Yay, squirrel tokens. Yeah, that. Ooh. That's crazy. Yeah, we have a foil cleaving sliver. Okay. Boo. Another mariner. You suck, mariner. I'm going to open the last one. All right. Or I'll open this one, then you can open the last one. Make that one the last one. Okay. Here we go. Come on, Urza. I think we might have gotten too many mythics already to uh, yeah, we did. realistically have Urza. So, Goblin Token. Uh, I think that's called Lancer Sliver? I don't remember. It's a First Strike Sliver. We got Snow Covered Forest. And... Yeah. Force of Rage. Okay, so we've got four of the forces. A foil elemental. Actually, looks really nice. Huh? Oh. This guy is a skeleton made of skeletons with what I think might be a city on him? Mm -hmm. I think it's a graveyard. A gra okay, that makes more sense. Maybe it's all the skeletons that were in the graveyard rose up and became one thing? I don't know. That sounds like Liliana's doing. <laughs> yeah. Cunning evasion foil. Okay. Flamebound accomplice. No, boo. So, no. This is a weird one, too. Like, you put a planeswalker from your hand onto the battlefield, sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step. Like, are you really super desperate for that one activation of a planeswalker in your hand? What planeswalkers can activate like that right out of the bag? All right. Whatever. Well... Let's uh, scan them up. All right, we're back. We scanned. These are all the rares that are worth more than a dollar. Um, Lands, 15, 16 bucks. Of, of course. course. The Fire Islet was the most out of the land cycle. That was 20, I believe. Um, the Astral Drift is going for like three bucks in foil. It's only going for like 38 cents in non foil, so that's a pretty big premium on that one. The Giver of Runes is six bucks, so we. 
We didn't do too bad, actually. Just in scanning the rares, we got... What was it? Uh, $184? Uh, I think it was less than that. Let me check. You scanned it, so... $164? Uh, $159.61. Okay. Yeah. So that's just in the rares. If the Snowlands are worth, like, $0.38 cents a piece, figure... If you sell them in bulk, you might get 15 to 20 cents each. And if the art cards end up being worth anything in the future, we did not too bad. We spent $190 on this box, so... Yeah. And there's quite a bit in here that we'll be keeping, because slivers, obviously. Yeah, there's so. a ton of uncommons I'm going to keep, too. Like, And that's, that's pretty rare for uncommons. We don't usually yeah. do a whole lot with those. They sit in a box. So... Of course, the set was really expensive. We do have one more box. We're going to save that for later. Um, but until next time, say bye, honeybee. Bye, honeybee.